Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you this Team of the Season player review and as you can see up on screen, we're going to be reviewing Team of the Season Murtasaka. So, this was actually one I put out and a lot of people wanted to see Murtasaka as well as even a YouTuber called Jubilant Gamer. So, uh, yeah, you can see over there, we have him over there in our squad. He's got picked him up for 58,500 coins. I actually sold him one for 74,000 coins, so I made myself a little bit of profit on him as well. He is 6'6", six six, so he's a very big player. He's got only 40 pace. And I think that's really, a, you know, a bad by EAs because they they should have given him much more better pace. He's been a very solid player this season. He's got 93 defending, which I think is incredible because he is a really good defender. And also 88 heading, which you're going to see his in-game stat for his heading. You're going to be like mind blown, literally. So play 12 games. That That's sort of just done before I changed him up. And you're going to see... I did a bit of a surprise move with Mertesacker and it did turn out to be a little bit more funner than I expected. So... Yeah, I probably wouldn't play this guy as a centre-back all the time. Uh, you'll see that at the end of the video where I sort of take you guys through those clips. But, yeah, in terms of being a centre-back, um, where I played him for the first 10 games, he got, he's got 88 ball control. Um, he's very good at defending, very good at standing tackles and slide tackles. Um, he makes himself a very big presence in the defence, which does affect a lot of attackers because when they run at him, they're sort of trying to run at a brick wall and it just knocks them over so that's one thing I found quite nice in terms of heading accuracy you can see that in game stats 99 heading accuracy which is really good provided he does jump if he doesn't jump and the players can you know out jump him it's sort of going to go to waste so I wouldn't say you know I would have liked to have seen if he jumped a little bit more in the game um, shot power he does have 98 shot power so you'll see that trying to have a long shot with him is a bit more fun than you'd expect and also when you have close in free kicks when you just want to drill it at the keeper um, yeah, it's quite fun. Now, in terms of physical attributes, over there you can see all of his physicals not really nice. They're all in the reds over there in terms of pace attributes. I'd have probably like to have seen his reactions, and sorry, not reactions, jumping be at least around about the 60s or the 70s or even pushing the 80s because he's a big player. You want to see them jump, you want to see them leap in the air, head the ball in, and he just didn't do that all the time. He just did it on, I think, three occasions. So, three occasions out of 12 games, you guys can work the ratio. I think it's uh, around about 25% of the time he just pretty much jumped in the air. So, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the best of things. Now, over there you can see, very aggressive in terms of uh, the way he plays in the game, and interceptions-wise, he has 95 interceptions. So, he does make himself quite good at those tackles. Now, one thing I did find, I used him in an Arsenal squad, with the exception of Clichy and uh, Fernandinho, and Fernandinho purely because he's got great long shots. But, with Ramsey and Murtasaka together, if you're using these two, as I told you guys, I really love Team of Season Ramsey. Uh, just don't put him next to Murtasaka because he will prevent him from being utilized in the game. And you pretty much will just find Koscielny doing all the work. Now, in terms of there, you can see Murtasaka, he just pretty much nods it over, uses his height to his advantage, which is a, sort of a plus point for him in the way. But in terms of attacking-wise, he was much more better attacking than he was... I'd say in points, well, actually, sometimes, yeah, it's a mixed thing over there because I did find it a bit difficult in terms of um, attacking all the time. You can't really run with him because his dribbling is really bad, so he does knock the ball and he use. I don't know, if you guys have played next-gen a lot, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He knocks the ball with his feet and it just didn't feel adequate to have a player that would just lose the ball too often. Um, but in terms of defensively, you can see intercepting-wise, he was very good. Standing tackles, very nice with those. Slide tackles as well. Because he's slow, it adds as a bonus because it gets a lot of people offside. And you can see over there his slide tackles, preventing players like Lewandowski, Van Persie, uh, just literally getting them in front of them and uh, preventing them from even getting the ball near goal. So, really fun in that sense. I'd definitely say if you want to use him as a three-back formation, he would be a really good sweeper as a player to have in the center of your 3-5-2. And he acts as a sweeper in the sense that if your other center backs miss out, he's going to be definitely the man who's going to get in the way and just prevent them from getting on goal. So... Eventually, you know, after playing 10 games, I, I, this is this is a surprise move I did. I put Murtasaka as a striker, and uh, it's actually quite fun because he jumps a bit more than what he should do than if he was as a playing as a centre-back. So, you can see over here, as a striker, I let him have a little bit of a free kick. But, you know, let's utilise this guy to our full advantage because he's 98 shot power. So, I want to see if I can hit into the top corner, and it almost crept in over there just to keep him making a save. It probably would have broken his wrist, to be frank. But, anyway, over there, in terms of shots, he gets a really nice outswinging shot. In terms of finesse shots, yeah, not good enough. And also, his shot power, very good, so he can get a powerful shot onto the keeper, provided he uses his right foot and not his left foot. So... Yeah, that's one thing. In terms of running for the ball, though, yeah, he's not going to be really good at that, so <laughs> don't expect that. And you will get into some silly challenges like I did with the uh, yellow card over there. Now, pros and cons. Great at slide tackles. Really strong at standing tackles. 
very good at defending, defending it from our corners. But in terms of attacking corners, that was his weakness. Pretty much very occasionally he would head the ball in and he avoids jumping at all costs. So you will have to force it on him. Now, looking at still, still low on pace. I would have probably like to see EA give him much higher pace, as I've said before, between 50 and 60, as I do feel he deserves it. But we're getting there, guys. We're getting there with Bert Saka. Eventually, he will have decent pace. Um, long passes and clearances were not as accurate, so be careful when you do clear them out because he might just give it to your opponent. And then he is clumsy when you do sprint with him on the dribbling. So be careful with that one. So I've given him a 7.2. I felt really good as a card, just as I'd probably play him as a striker, more or less, if I do get him again. So... He just performed much better as a striker. So, yeah, hopefully, guys, you did enjoy my review. But, I mean, drop it a like if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And if you did miss Team of the Season Sterling review out earlier today, be sure to check that one out because that was uh, uploaded in the morning. So, yeah, if you guys haven't enjoyed, by means drop it a like, subscribe. This has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you all for the next video.